it's day 13 of our ride and today we are going from uh, Kullu to Chandigarh and we'll culminate our ride at Chandigarh so it's gonna be a nice route today to do to Chandigarh it's gonna be nice twisty and windy at the same time weather conditions are also favorable it's a little cloudy so just done with breakfast and we are off to Chandigarh now this is the last leg of our journey Today we have to reach Chandigarh no matter what. So we were supposed to reach Chandigarh yesterday, but you know what happened with us yesterday? Our backup vehicle broke down, after which uh, we had to arrange a lot of stuff. And luckily today another backup vehicle from Delhi came down. And uh, Finally, so today we have to cover about 200 plus kilometers. So now we've hit the highway. This is uh, Kulu Chandigarh Highway. We are uh, uh, we just took a left from Kulu and now it's straight roads to Chandigarh. Look at the mountains here, so clear. The weather is very clear today, good weather conditions to ride. But then for us, since we were in the hills for more than uh, eight days, uh, we're feeling it's hot. <laughs> I know, that's the irony of life. When you're up in the mountain, you say it's cold. And once you're down in mainland, you complain it's hot. Last evening when we reached here, it was a very pleasant condition. It was about 16 degrees and we felt it was very normal. Uh, same thing if you had it been uh, back in uh, hometown if it turns out 16 we would be shivering but yesterday it seemed so normal it seemed so good uh, it was a very refreshing weather though after five days of harsh minus degree weather it was very very comfortable and once you come to the mainland again the food and all food habits becomes normal it's very good the vegetation starts uh, you can start seeing greenery around uh, in the mountains it was more of snow cap and dry mountains but if you see here it's full of greenery very nice uh, lush green across but then uh, once you are up in the mountain you have either plain barren land dry weather or you have snow cap mountains and snow around so that's the difference that you can evidently see the minute you come to mainland and here the air is also much more thicker more oxygen in the air unlike uh, when you are in the hills and uh, currently we are at 5000 uh, feet above sea level which is a very comfortable thing and Bangalore is about 3000 uh, feet above sea level so you can understand the difference it's more or less the similar kind of weather only once you cross 10,000 plus feet above sea level. 10,000 is also very much uh, comfortable and you know acceptable for most of the people, if not everyone. Uh, things start changing only once you are above 12,000 feet is when you start seeing a difference. Uh, you know, the air is thinner, breathing conditions might be a little different. Uh, you start seeing some difference, but otherwise it's absolutely comfortable and it also depends upon body type so um, person to person it might vary it's not a standard thumb rule for everyone some people might have more uh, capacity to withstand altitude and some people might not so it all depends upon body type and also some people um, uh, body types are they can withstand cold but not hot and vice versa so I'm a kind of person who can uh, take cold. I, I can withstand cold, but not uh, hot. Yes, um, I might need additional uh, stuff to kind of keep myself a little warm, but then I can manage cold. But the minute it turns out hot, it becomes very difficult for me to uh, kind of ride. And also I feel difficulty in breathing because you get tired very soon. Um, so when I say it's difficulty in breathing, it's not like uh, normal, it's just that, you know, it, it's very tiring though, for me summers are very tiring. 
and here are some uh, Royal Enfield Himalayan riders who are also doing the same circuit as ours maybe as this is the last leg of our ride we are taking it very light and easy no hurry we are just uh, enjoying every moment and once we reach Chandigarh it's the memories that we can carry with us um, all, all the things that we've done in the last couple of days. So you get one more tunnel while you go from uh, Kulu to Chandigarh and this looks like a quite a big tunnel and yes it is a quite a big tunnel it's not like a small tunnel it's a big one So this is at least 3-3.5 three, three kilometers so far that I have ridden easily. It looks like a big tunnel. we come to the end of the tunnel so this could be easily something between between four to five kilometers around that is out so you have a flyer on the top and uh, we will be going below that and it's a nice view this feels like a video game uh, uh, what do I say track uh, asphalt or something so you you kind of have this uh, bridge on the top left hand side you have a river flowing It's an amazing experience riding in this uh, kind of terrain and you know uh, different it's new to us we don't ride regularly in these kind of uh, stuff and then you see there's a bridge as well this reminds me of the asphalt game itself uh, so drive slowly what is this called 
National Highway Authority, what's the name? Tunnel number 12. I don't know what it means, but it says tunnel number 12. Wow, this is lit up properly. Very, very well lit up, and it's a complete uh, concrete road. It's not tarmac, it's a complete concrete road. You have proper barrication on right and left. This is uh, the second tunnel that we've got on our way from Kulu to Chandigarh. And this is called tunnel number 12. I don't know if there's any other name for this. It just says tunnel number 12. As we are descending lower and lower, uh, the temperature is just rising higher and higher. So it's uh, similar vice versa. As you climb high, the temperature will uh, decrease. So here, when we came yesterday at Kulu, it was 16 degrees. And now I'm sure it is above that. And it could be easily around 19, 20 degrees or maybe higher than that. And uh, this is tunnel number 12. 11 sorry tunnel number 11 and uh, by the time we reach Chandigarh it will be easy 36 37 degrees easy and it also depends upon what time we'll reach Chandigarh if we're reaching uh, by afternoon it could be higher but if we reach a little later in the evening it could be lower and this is again a quite a big uh, Tunnel, quite a big. Hope the tunnels reduce our uh, route to Chandigarh by at least by 20% or something, but not too sure if that happens. Because by uh, traveling on the Atal Tunnel, just covering 9 kilometers, reduced close to about 50 plus kilometers. Just constantly maintain on speed and keep going because everybody here is ripping and feels like I'm actually playing a video game. It feels like that. So since I am connected on intercom with the uh, Kirtan and uh, Anvesh as well as Madhu. Once in a while you hear Kirtan's voice also uh, while he's uh, vlogging. We come out of tunnel number 11 and I think there's one more tunnel. Not too sure. Looks like there's a new tunnel being constructed right in front. But I think we'll have to go down it's yet to be constructed and there's a huge hanging bridge as well that leads or takes deviation to another direction and back to valley and this looks like Parvati river which is flowing uh, next to me on the left hand side And this is a reservoir of uh, River Parvati Dam. So we are actually going on the dam. Water is saved here and reservoir, and then that's where the valley is down there. So 
and no parking. You're not supposed to park, no photography. And here we are at Chandigarh. And now uh, finally our leg has come to an end. We are going towards our room. So our room is about 17 kilometers. It will take about half an hour. And that's at uh, Panchkula, which is Haryana. We'll be reaching there soon. Finally, we've come to the end of our ride. We are in Chandigarh. Had a brilliant, crazy ride. And special thanks to Rice Tires for making this happen. And also special thanks to Hemant, Asif and Samir. Samir is the person behind the wheels. Asif is the person who made sure all our bikes were up and running every single day. And Hemant, of course, made this ride a little more adventurous than what it could have been otherwise. So that's all for this video. Bye-bye, guys.